Um, as you know, I typically represent Lebanon Family Health, but today I'm representing the Teen Pregnancy Prevention and Support Network. Just to let you know briefly what we, who, what we are, we're a collaboration of social service agencies who share a common mission, which is the prevention of teen pregnancy and offering support to parenting teens. Um, I'm here mostly uh, today because May is National Teen Pregnancy Prevention Month. And during this time, advocates highlight the efforts to end the intergenerational cycle of teen poverty, and I'm sorry, teen pregnancy. And when teen parents do not pursue education past high school, we see a 63% chance of them living in poverty, according to the National uh, Conference on State Legislatures. Uh, parents with a post-secondary degree and a certificate are more likely to acquire full-time employ employment. Knowing this reality, Last year, our organization, the Teen Pregnancy Prevention and Support Network, began a scholarship project specifically to assist a teen parent in advancing their education in a field that has high employment opportunities in Lebanon County. And um, fortunately, Commissioner Ames was able to be there with us um, a few weeks ago as we awarded our first ever uh, um, scholarship to um, a young woman named Naylene Crespo of Lebanon. She received the scholarship to pursue a certificate in Certified Nursing Assistance Program at Harrisburg Area Con Community College's Workforce Development Program. Uh, the scholarship is designed to help teen parents develop a career with an income that will help them support their family. And we are proud to announce that we've awarded our first uh, scholarship last month, at which uh, Commissioner Ames was at that um, event. And as part of National Teen Pregnancy Prevention Month, we're here to bring awareness to the issue of teen pregnancy and the importance of trying to help um, parenting teens elevate themselves economically so they don't have an um, intergenerational cycle of poverty. Although also on more of the awareness end during Teen Pregnancy Prevention Month, we're also um, creating some awareness that in Lebanon County, we have seen a 39% decrease over the past 10 years. Um, with teen pregnancy, so that's something to be celebrated. Mm -hmm. And to look at the efforts we've been doing over the uh, past couple decades and to continue moving forward with those efforts. Uh, so during May, we are recognizing Teen Pregnancy Prevention Month and um, sharing some awareness about what we can do to curtail teen pregnancy. Thank you very much for sharing that information. I did thought it was amazing when when I showed up there, what I found, and also that uh, the lady that I uh, taught with up at Hershey was the, the one who uh, gave that money upon her death for yes. the awarding of these scholarships. So that was an, an interesting event for me. So I guess we have a proclamation, Jenny? Yes. Much of the same information is in here, but I'll go through it. Uh, whereas, Teen Pregnancy Prevention and Support Network a division of the Community Health Council Lebanon County is sponsoring National Teen Pregnancy Prevention Month. And whereas the purpose of the proclamation is to educate the public about the importance of preventing teen pregnancy in Lebanon County through education and awareness. The goal of the Teen Pregnancy Prevention and Support Network is to connect parents, teens, and professionals with Lebanon County resources. And whereas there are numerous local organizations within Lebanon County who are committed to reducing teen pregnancy in Lebanon County, and whereas the prevalence of teen pregnancies in Lebanon County has dropped 39% in the past 10 years. Whereas the Lebanon County Commissioners recognize that teen pregnancy continues to be a serious issue for many individuals and families in Lebanon County. And whereas the intent of the National Teen Pregnancy Prevention Month is consistent with the activities of the Teen Pregnancy Prevention and Support Network. Now therefore, we, the Commissioners of Lebanon County, do hereby proclaim May 1st, through the 31st, 2018, as National Teen Pregnancy Prevention Month in Lebanon County. Further, we encourage all citizens to recognize that teen pregnancy continues to be a concern in Lebanon County and needs support from citizens and private public nonprofit service entities. I have a motion. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second to adopt the teen pregnancy uh, Proclamation. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? All right. The proclamation is adopted. Gordy's got a question. Right yeah, Gordy. Holly, uh, Gordon Wise from WLBR. Yeah. Uh, to what do you attribute that 39% drop? Uh, and uh, secondly, is, is does that mirror national and state statistics uh, as well? 
That's a great question. I'm glad you asked that. Yes, it actually does mirror our national trends. We have seen a, an amazing improvement in teen pregnancy and over since its peak in the late 90s. Um, and consider it a public health success story, what we've seen happen. And if you look at how it happened, there is no like magic bullet. <laughs> it's, it's if we look at it from a public health model, you have to look at something called like an ecological model. It's, it's at the interpersonal, the, the personal level, the interpersonal level, the community, the organization, and policy as well. What we have seen happen, um, a lot with advances in medical technology, with improvements in long-acting reversible contraception, things like the intrauterine device, the implanon, which are birth control devices that women can access and utilize long-term, and they have an amazing success rate. So we've seen that, and of course, more access to reproductive health care, family planning services. So we've seen it on that level. But the other level um, we see also a lot, which is our organization works a lot to do, is opening up channels of communication between parents and their kids. And how do you have those difficult, challenging conversations? And so what some of the initiatives our, organ our group does is um, giving awareness to parents on how can you have conversations with your kids about sexuality and these difficult um, topics. So even during the month of October, we call it Let's Talk Month, and we bring out resources and information on to help parents with that. So I'd say if we had to pick two things, and there's a lot of other, other issues too, um, issues of access to higher education, I mean those are other issues too, but if we had to pick, like say, three things, it would be the access to birth control, facilitating conversations between parents and children, and, and the third thing would be access to higher education. And that's where we could start pulling together some of the directions we need to keep going and reinforcing. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Holly, if I may ask you to put on another hat for mm -hmm. just a minute, sure. I'm going to take advantage of the fact that you're here today. Okay. The Young, young Lungs at Play program, mm -hmm. do you have to have a playground at a park to participate have that or for instance if we have a monument park or governor dick or the rail trail would they qualify for young lungs at play absolutely yes okay um, any recreational place so it could be rails to trails recreational place where people are so they don't have to have field. a playground no it does not just have to be a playground yes, All right. that's so that's something we can consider absolutely i'd be happy to talk to you okay. about that thank yep. you you're welcome thank you for your time